Hey guys, this is Mini Mix Animation, and today I bought this at my, well, video game store, uh, in the shopping center or, you know, shopping mall, depending on what you want to call it. And, uh, these were quite, you know, they were cheap and expensive compared to what I've seen online. And I didn't know they were selling them here, so when I actually found out, uh, that they were selling them here, it was like, what? Um, and there were some issues at the guy at the counter thought it was like, uh, I think he said, he's like, he wanted it for like $10, yet it said on the box $7.99. It's quite funny, because, uh, yeah, the guy thought he was an idiot or something, not being able to read the, uh, you know, the numbers and all that. Anyway, and um, these are from the 1990 movie, um, 1990s movie of, uh, the Ninja Turtles, and I love the Ninja Turtles, I'm a massive fan of them, I've been watching them for ages, uh, I like the new series that's come out, but, you know, many people say it's really childish, I say it, you know, it's not, it, Ninja Turtles is for anyone, whether you're three, year, three years old, or like, you know, 99 years old, you know, it doesn't matter what age you are, as long as you're a fan, you're a fan, you know, it always sticks with you, um, I would say the same for wrestling, but then some people, you know, sort of like me, grow out of wrestling, but every now and then I watch it, just, you know, just for the sake of it, um, and I might be doing a wrestling animation, as you see here, I've got a Titan Tron, and then over there, besides my lamp, you know, I've got my crowd, so I might be doing a few wrestling animations, something like that, you know, um, and so, this is not a review, by the way, this is an unboxing, and, uh, I got, first up, uh, Mikey, Mikey is uh is one of my favorites. Actually, my favorites is Donatello over there. Uh, but Mikey is also another one of my favorites. It comes with his nunchucks, of course. See over here it says. Let's just focus that. The original TMNT movie turtles. Um, and over here, you can just see a picture from from the you know just few movie clip pictures. Um, and here's the back. If you want to pause that and read that, you can do that right now. And, um, here, you know, that's the campfire scene. If you've seen this film, it's it's alright. It's not like the new one. I'm just telling you that now. It's it's a lot more different. Um, and here are the other figures in the series. Now, I got all these four. One, two, three, four. However, these ones, these four, I haven't got because they weren't for sale, unfortunately. But, you know... I'll still look online for those, and then you've got, uh, Bebop and, uh, Rocksteady. But I remember these two, definitely, because they're pretty old. They're, they're the originals. Um, and I know, uh, what's his name? Chino Marino. I, I can't remember his exact name, but he's a YouTuber who does the animations, and he used these two recently, and I loved his animation, and I asked him, how do you make your animation? How do you do edit out the, you know, your hands and all that? And he says, oh, I just use Photoshop. And I was like, yeah, okay, everyone says they use Photoshop, but then they've got their own tricks and all that up their sleeve when it comes to editing. Um, next up is uh, Leonardo. Um, also, I forgot to point out that he had these designs on the top. Uh, Leonardo, nice, to, like, you know, nice look. Again, has that. Again has the same designs, and again has 1990 movie at the top bit. However, on this one it doesn't have a warning. On that one it has a warning. Over there you see there's a warning, and Ralph has a Raphael has a warning. But you know it's Raphael, of course he has a warning. You know he's the badass turtle, and then you've got the party dude with the warning, of course. However, the guy with machines doesn't have a warning, and this guy does not have a warning. So something's up, guys. Um, and then, yeah, that's just a barcode. Uh, again, if you want to pause that, you can pause it. Um, but I would have paused it the first time if you wanted to read that. And again, you've got the same figures in the series. But yeah, I'd say this figure looks quite nice. And then you've got these, which clip onto the back, and then these two katanas go. There's the other katana. Uh, these two katanas go there. Next up, we got Raphael, the badass mutant. Not mutant, sorry, my bad. I was, I was thinking of Deadpool when I said badass, so I said mutant afterwards. I meant to say turtle. Anyway, um, 
amazing. Uh, they look exactly like they do on the movie, so if you haven't seen the movie, you might think these guys look really weird, especially Donatello over there. Uh, you're like, who is this stranger? Anyway, uh, they just look amazing, and also you can see the articulation droids, you know, they've got amazing articulation. They're like elites or Marvel Legends or DC Universe figures, depending what you collect, Kaido, Revitek, all that sort of stuff. Um, SH figure arts, except for don't have the neck joint and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but they got good feet pivot, and if, if I was you, uh, Sharmus Prime, and you're watching this, I'd pick these up, because they, they look pretty nice. Um, especially because they've got the ankle pivot, and I know you're crazy about it. Also, you can read that. You want to pause that to read that. Go ahead. It's more HD, that one. Again, has the design. They all have that design. It's, I think it's based on the, uh... It doesn't say anything, guys. I tried unscrambling it, see if it meant anything, but no, I think it's just a brick design. Um, and here we are, Donatello. Um, so yeah, Donatello looks weird if you've never watched the film. I've watched the film, it looks pretty good, uh, according to the film. These look really accurate, that's all I'm, I, I meant to say. They look unbelievably accurate. Like, if I just get... Um, Leonardo here. You compare this Leonardo just here, and then you get that figure. It looks pretty similar. I could guess that it was from the film, or uh, if we see, you know, uh, that Raphael there, and I just get the Raphael figure. Just wait a second. I get the Raphael figure. Hey, okay, look! If you look at that. And you look at the Raphael figure. Pretty similar. Anyway, DG, I remember, I think you said you won loads of these at the Nickelodeon TMNT competition. You are so lucky. Um, I know these were out a while ago, but if, you know, you won them, man. You were lucky. Um, you got them for free. Lucky. I got, I have to pay for these, you know. Um. I also ordered some stuff off Big Bad Toy Store. I ordered a Wolverine from the uh, recent Wolverine film, the Samurai one. And uh, it's his funeral clothes one. And I also ordered an SH Figure Arts Batman and an SH Figure Arts Joker. Um, they were both pre-orders because they sold out and then they put them back in stock. Uh, Batman's coming out later this March, and Joker comes in April. So if you haven't got those two fig three figures, I recommend you order them, especially the Wolverine, because that one comes with not only the, you know, the adamantium claws, but also the, uh, but also the bone claws. Anyway, guys, this is a unboxing video, not a review, because I said I would stop doing figure reviews, but I would definitely be doing unboxing. If I get, like, loads of figures like these, yeah, you'll see me doing an unboxing, but if I, if I only just get, like, one figure, you know, you won't see an unboxing. Um, if I get a Hot Toys, you might see an unboxing. Might see an unboxing. I didn't do a review on the Iron Man Mark 1. Later on, but no, previously, I said I would do it, but I decided, you know, um, because it has limited articulation, because Sean Long's already done a figure review on it, and a lot of other people have. It's a version 2, by the way, so it's like, you know, 1 in 700. And I got it for four hundred dollars that one, but anyway, this is a uh, MMA mix, mini mix, animation, and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this little unboxing. If you guys want to get these figurines, and I'm pretty sure you can get them off eBay. I'm not sure if they sell them on uh, Big Bad Toy Store anymore, but I order now from Big Bad Toy Store. And if it wasn't for Charmus Prime or uh, DG for and DG, not or DG, but and DG. For recommending me to uh, Big Bad Toy Store because I forgot about Big Bad Toy Store. I saw it. I was like, "Oh, this looks amazing," you know. And then I forgot about it. And then I remembered after they kept reminding me. I was like, "Should I check it out? Should I not?" And then after a while, I was like, "Yeah, okay, why not?" I saw the Wolverine. And I'm like, "Thanks, guys. You just made me buy one of my favorite figures." And I'm so happy. So yeah, I, I, I thank you guys for that. But yeah, this is an unboxing, just a little bit about what's happening. And yes, I will do an animation on these four. I'll try and find a Shredder, and I'll try and find a uh, Striker. And uh, also, I'll try and get the other four from the pack. Uh, also, Bebop and... Uh, wait, was it Rocksteady? I think it was Rocksteady. 
uh, yeah, it was Rocksteady, sorry, I, I always forget his name, I, I remember Bebop as being the, you know, the water guy, and then you do this, like that, anyway, um, but I always remember that one tune from the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant anyway, I'd sing it, but I'm not a good singer, so I'm sorry if you guys have uh, headaches now. Uh, but, yep, thanks guys for watching this uh, figure unboxing. I know it's been like 10 minutes now, and I do apologize. But, you know, I've got to spread the word sometime, right? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will be making dioramas and stop motions on this. Thanks for watching. Mini Mix Animation. See you guys next time. Forgot to mention, guys, this is what they look like outside of the box. And they look amazing, so if you're going to keep in the box, look what you're missing out on. Um, forgot to mention they also come in stands, as well as this little booklet which tells you wh what's in the new series uh, lineups and all that. Forgot to mention that, sorry. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Mini Mix Animation. See you guys next time for an amazing unboxing or animation depends what's happening next time because I'm unsure as well or diorama review either way thanks for watching guys this is mini mix animation